Uh, our first speaker today, uh, our new mayor, uh, who's also a volunteer with Fiddler's Grove. He's also on the executive board with Fiddler's Grove, and he is our city mayor. Rick Bell, would you come up and have a few words? Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, for four months, I've, I've been the mayor. Um, and, but for 20 years before that, I was a historian, which is that's still what I really am. You know, this is this, but this is a new job, and and and, and one of the things that I've, I've learned about this new job is obviously there's a lot of hard work to it, a lot of serious issues that we have to deal with. But there are some times that I get to do fun things too. And just this week, um, I was able to do something that was really fun. Um, a young girl who is in elementary school in our city school system in the uh, special school district, uh, her dream is to be a television broadcaster or tell, you know, be on the news. And so they set up an appointment with me for her to come and interview me, like her on television. And so uh, she came in with her parents and, and with her teacher, they set up their camera and we, we got the microphones out and everything and, and she introduced herself and she started asking me questions. But the thing was, they didn't tell me what the questions were gonna be ahead of time. Okay, so it's going to be a total surprise. And so the first thing she asked me was, are there any historic sites in Lebanon and Wilson County? <laughs> and, um, and I said, yes, there, there are. And, and one of those, and, and, and the best one we have is Fiddler's Grove. And, uh, you know, and that's one of the things that, uh, you know, everybody in this room realizes you know what this place is uh, but you know there are people out there who don't and I do think it's part of my job to to help people understand that because as the mayor you know I am proud of, that this village is in Lebanon it's in our city limits and as a historian I'm you know proud to be a part of this and uh, you know so thankful for everyone who's involved in making this successful win all the volunteers everyone because this really is something that sets us apart uh, you know, not just the fairgrounds, not just the fair, not just all the things you guys do out here. It sets our city apart too. And so when I was talking to, to her about, you know, all the things that fill us grow, you know, some of the things I talked about was that, you know, if you come out here as a family and bring kids and, you know, or, or bring groups out here, you're going to learn a lot. You know, you're going to learn about people who made an impact, not just here in our community, but also around the country too. You know. You're going to learn about Sam Houston, you know, obviously, somebody who became famous after, after he left Lebanon and Wilson County. You're also going to learn about A.C. Ward, and you're going to learn about W.B. Du Bois, and you're going, to, uh, you're going to learn about Doris Bland. You know, people that we know locally, but also people that are known nationally as well. And I think that's something that's great about this place because it's, it's, it's all kinds of history, okay, and, and it represents, you know, People from different eras, represents different time periods, and people who made impacts in different ways. And so that's you know that's one of the great things about Fielders Grove. But but it's not just about people that you learn about here. You know you, you learn about how life used to be, and you learn how to weave, and you learn how to cobble, you know, and you learn how to how to blacksmith, you learn how to smoke meat, and and obviously for young people especially, you know, those are things they're thinking, what in the world is that? You know, but, but we know that, you know, used to be that was everyday part of life. That's how people survived. That's how communities operated. So out here, you learn about people. You learn how about how, how life used to be. But also, you know, you learn about other things. Because, you know, the jobs I just mentioned, you know, and, and the skills, you know, those are things that are being kept alive by you all. You know, the volunteers, the people come out here and put on demonstrations. You know, but there are also jobs that, you know, in our everyday life, you know, we don't go to town to a blacksmith anymore, you know, and, and we don't go to a cobbler. But there are businesses we go to today that operated differently back then. Okay, banking, for example. Okay, today people can get their phone out and they can bank. They can come out here and learn that used to be you actually had to walk in a building and talk to someone. <laughs> you, know, you know, and talk to a teller. And, you know, they would hand you this stuff called cash that, that you know that that we have a card now you know most times uh, but also you can come out here and learn about photography you know today once again we can take pictures on our phones but now you can come out here in Phillips Grove and find out it wasn't always like that 
used to be. You had to go to the studio and have this camera, and they would throw a, a curtain over somebody's head, and you'd have to sit there really still. And, you know, it was different back then. Um, you also learned about how medicine used to be. You know, you, you learned how, uh, how telephones used to operate. You know, when I was teaching, I would spend one day every semester telling my students about the evolution of the telephone from when it was first invented until now. And I promise you, they can't believe you used to be connected to a cord in the wall. <laughs> and, and, and when I tell them about the party line, they really freak out. <laughs> that somebody in your neighborhood could actually listen to your conversation. You know, so, so those are things that Phyllis Grove offers. You know, they offer it to, to families, they offer it to kids, you know, learn about all these, all these great things about our past, but, but it also offers us a great opportunity here in our city. You know, it's, it's an opportunity to distinguish ourselves, it's an opportunity to bring people here, to bring in tourists, uh, you know, to, to come to our town. And, and I'm so thankful it's here, and I'm so thankful, you know, for, for you know, the people who, who started it, and for the people who are carrying on to the future, because the one thing we can't lose are, is our history. Because if we lose our history, we lose who we are, and and we can't let that happen. So, so thank you for everything you do. I'm honored to be part of this, and and you know, Fillers Grove is a great place. But you know what? I know I'm preaching to the choir because you guys know it already. So, thank you. Rick, thank you very much. There was not a campaign note in that speech either. Oh. Uh, uh, Helen McPeak, uh, you're hiding over here. She's our uh, uh, executive director for Wilson County Promotions, which handles the fair and handles everything else around here. And she'd like to give you an update of some things that are going on that are really important to us and the fair and y'all. Thank you, Pat. Uh, when I look around this room, uh, I can't help but uh, thank each and every one of you for what you do your contributions to Fiddler's Grove and the fair. Pam Ryan has been instrumental and, and been a blessing to us. And Pat, thank you for agreeing to take that president job and and for making it and, and doing all that you do. <laughs> Uh, also, Gwen and Rhonda uh, for being here every day and, and making things happen. Uh, I, you, you know, you're, you're instrumental in, in making all of the activities happen and uh, all, of, all of the master gardeners and the blacksmiths and the storytellers and the sewing and, you know, I can just look around this room and all the contributions, the, the barn, uh, you know, the office, Wilco, Rick being here, you know, all of you are very important to Fiddler's Grove and, and I thank you for, from, from my heart. Uh, that, that you are, Mr. Bob with the Heritage Barn, and, and uh, you know, we've, we've just got so many that makes this work. We've also got a group of people that are here every day uh, that works very hard in keeping the grove looking pretty, painting fences, uh, keeping up the, the limbs picked up, and they're not in here, but if you see Shatina and Pete and Minnie, uh, out there on the grounds, will y'all please give them a hug and, and thank them for, for what all they do. This year, August the 12th through the 21st, is the Wilson County Fair. Uh, we've got a lot of things planned. Uh, this year, the theme is honoring hometown heroes. Uh, we've got a lot of things planned for that, uh, and you will hear more about that in the, in the coming months. Uh, one of the things that uh, we're going to be doing and if you would like information, we have got some uh, uh, little slips of paper here talking about uh, decorating mailboxes and front doors if you don't have a mailbox. Uh, but in honor of those hometown heroes, we would love for everybody to decorate their, their mailboxes, patriotic or red, white, and blue, or even just write, wrap a ribbon around it. But if you go way far out, we would love to have uh, you to enter uh, that in a competition that we've got for the fair this year. It will be online. And if you cannot enter online, bring it into the office. Just bring us a picture uh, and we will get that entered. But to get more information, we would love for this to be all over Wilson County and we would love to see everybody from across the state honor all of our heroes 
uh, that, that means so much to us and, and that do so much for us every day. Uh, today is a much better day than it was last year at this time. Uh, you know, we had the tornado that hit us in, on March the 3rd in 2020, and then the pandemic hit. And uh, this year, it's a beautiful, sunny day, uh, and I, I, I am enjoying being able to hug people and uh, see faces, and, you know, of course, we're still wearing masks and that kind of thing, but it is so good to get back to some kind of normalcy. Uh, and I, I appreciate that too. Uh, I thank God for, for this day uh, and, and for what he gives us every day. And I thank God for y'all. Thank you, Miss Helen. Uh, I want to take a second. Uh, I want to thank our corporate sponsors. Cracker Barrel is a uh, big sponsor of our, and we have a representative here today. Uh, make sure that you greet her and uh, let her know how much we appreciate what they do for us. Uh, and Middle Tennessee Electric, same thing. Uh, these folks, both of them have always come out and, and uh, uh, really helped us out big time because it does take money to get this done and these folks seem to have a whole lot of money. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to go over a couple of things. I'm sure you noticed a few of us wearing these shirts. They're available at the general store. We got a limited supply right now, but we'll have some more. They're $12. There you go. Got the nod. They're $12 at the store, and they're awesome. They're really nice. And uh, even my wife complimented me when I walked out the door today. She said, that shirt really looks nice on you. So yeah. she's prejudiced, though. Uh, we have a spring garden fest uh, coming up uh, May the 1st. Where's somebody with the Master Gardeners? Is it May the 1st, Gwen? May the 1st. Uh, it is, well, uh, I think she said they've got like 70 vendors already that's going to be here. They're anywhere from uh, all kind of crafts, all kind of neat crafts. And everything's pretty, pretty much everything's going to be homemade, handmade. Uh, and then the flowers, they're going to have uh, lots of uh, flowering stuff that's going to be here. Hopefully they'll have some vegetables. This is getting a little bit late for them, but... Uh, 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 they'll be there, but it's a big event. Y'all come. I'll have some goats here if y'all want to pet goats, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, Nettie Jacobs Heritage Day is coming up June June 5th. It's going to be on June 5th. Uh, we're doing a little bit different this year. Uh, we've already got, again, quite a few crafts people that's going to be here. Uh, we're going to have an outhouse race. If y'all have never seen an outhouse race, Jimmy, Comer, you need to be a big part of that. I tell you what, it's going to be fun. So you need to get busy building an outhouse on wheels. Uh, this is uh, one of the two of the big fundraisers that we have for Fiddler's Grove uh, this year. Uh, saying that, there is no admission to either of these. We're basically going to make our money off the vendors that's going to be here so the public can come and just enjoy and just have a good time. Uh, we're also working, and it's been going on uh, for a while, uh, the Fiddler's Grove Music Museum. Uh, in just the last few weeks, it has really uh, perked up. Uh, our plans are uh, the pad that's back here. We have poured for about a 50 by 100. I mean, it's a big, big pad. Uh, we're going to put a music museum back there, not just country music, not just gospel, not just rock and roll. We want some of everybody that's going to be in there. It's going to be specifically for people that has ties to Wilson County. And there's so much uh, 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 talent uh, in the music industry that comes out of Wilson County with the songwriters, you know, with the, with the vocalists, with the musicians. And uh, we're not only looking for the big stars, we're looking for the back people. We're looking for the folks uh, that played with the stars, people that have uh, uh, been a part of the group for years. Uh, those are the ones we really want to talk to because they're the ones that give us the really fun stories and the gossip, you know, from all the entertainers. So if y'all know anybody in the music business, uh, have them call the office, have them call Gwen over here at the, the Federal Grove office, and uh, we'll talk to them. We're also looking for, specifically for artifacts and memorabilia that we'll be able to put in there. Uh, one thing we do, and here's where your hands go up in the air, uh, we're trying, after the, the uh, tornado and a couple other things that happened around here, uh, we lost quite a few things in the tornado. Uh, we're needing to take inventory. We have uh, books of each building, and in that book has each piece of uh, artifact 
uh, that is supposed to be in that building. And we need somebody to come and spend two or three hours uh, in a building and uh, take your time going through it. And it's really simple to do. It's just a matter of sitting down and, and looking and saying, yep, that's it. Yep, that's that little black piece right there. Uh, but if anybody wants to help with that, we'd be glad uh, for you to come. Uh, next note. Uh, we do, the Grove is open today for all of you. And uh, we want to invite you to be sure to take a trip through the Grove, stroll through. It's a beautiful day, enjoy it. Uh, we do have some maintenance going on, so just, you know, if you see a pickup truck running towards you, just step out of the way. And, uh, but just take your time, because if you haven't been through the total tour, uh, it's really interesting. The Heritage Farm uh, is gonna be open uh, until 2.30. Uh, for all the kids in here under 90 years old, uh, the Train Museum is also gonna be open until uh, 2.30. There's a lot of new things that's happened in there uh, over the winter time. If you saw it last year, you're going to enjoy it more this year because there's just a lot more to it. Uh, now, we're about to the end. Gwen, do you have anything else that I missed? That's it. Uh, again, we want to thank Cracker Barrel, Middle Tennessee Electric for being here. Uh, Teresa Bush coming in with WCT uh, TV uh, and her staff and uh, taking care. Now, what we would like, and uh, I don't know, there he is, he's sitting over there. Uh, Philip uh, would like for us, and we would like for all of y'all, as we end, to go out here on the front steps. We want to get a master picture of everybody here today. And uh, so we want to thank you all for being here. We appreciate y'all so much, and we're looking forward to a great year this year. And uh, just keep it moving on. Thank y'all very much. <laughs>